As a part of C Sharp 11 and .NET 7, typed result is a type which was released. The purpose of typed result is to use with minimal API. Now, this is a minimal API project that I created. I use the out of box template. And if I run this application, it is going to show up the default Swagger page. And in the Swagger page, we can notice the schema of the class. So this is the schema of weather forecast. And we can go here and execute the function and we will get the expected result. Now, what happens is, this is just returning a weather forecast array. But what if based on a condition, we want to return a bad request or some other response? That is where we need something like typed result. So to show that, let's say we here we say return if weather forecast is equal to null, which is not going to be the case, then bad request. Otherwise, we want to return OK. Now here we cannot just return bad request as is. This is where we are going to use typed results dot bad request. And you can see typed result, if I do a dot, it has things like accepted, bad request, created, conflict, and bunch of other things. So we'll do bad request, otherwise typed result dot ok and for the ok we are going to return the the forecast but at this point that there is no return type for this one it was taking the default return so here we have to define a typed result so couple of things we can do we can do is we can return the i result interface which is going to work but if we return the I result interface and run this application, you are going to see that in the Swagger page, it is not going to have the schema definition, whereas everything else is going to work as is. So if I run the application now, and in the Swagger, you can see schema is missing. But if I go and execute, I'm going to see the response as expected. So there is no problem there. Now. To be able to show the schema also, what we have to use is we have to use something called results. And it is a typed parameter, so I can pass type. And you can see that in the type, we have to have minimum of two types. And then we can go up to six response type. So in our case, we are passing an OK and bad request. So we can start with OK and OK is also typed. We are returning uh, OK of weather forecast array. So we can say weather forecast array. And then for the second one is bad request. So that's our return here is result of OK and bad request. Now at this point in time, if we run this application, it is going to show up the schema in the swagger and after we run, the response is going to be exactly the same. It is going to have a OK of 200 with the array as expected. So here we can see that the schema is back. And then if we try out, we're going to see the exact same response as before. So this is how we can use the new typed result with minimal API. And as you can see, it is pretty straightforward. Now, the same type result can also be used using the normal API as well. So for example, here I have a normal API, which is returning an action result right now. So instead of action result, what we can do is we can return results of OK of weather forecast array and bad request and as you can see both the result and bad request all of them are part of microsoft.aspnetcode.http.http results and this is something which is introduced with c sharp 11 and .NET 7 so now what we have to do is here 
we should be changing the response here. So instead of controller base here, as well as for OK, it should be typed results dot OK, and similarly typed result dot bad request. And let me set this project as a startup project now. And if I run this project, this is going to, and let's change this to 200. Okay. Now, if I run this project now, which is the normal API, this is going to behave exactly the same way as minimal API. And this is one of the advantage of using the type result set is that you can use the type result set with both minimal API as well as the normal API. Now, one problem you can see here is that the schema is missing. The schema did not carry forward. So that's one problem that I noticed. Now, in terms of execution and all, I put a breakpoint here just to show it's working as expected. This is working just fine. Uh, the response works, but the schema is missing when it is used with the typed result set. But this can be, of course, fixed if we just provide the schema here with the producer's type. I have to change it to type of, so type of weather forecast array, because that is the first parameter for the type if we use it's a type. Now if I run this application, now the schema would be back, but this is where the fundamental difference lies only when it is the case of a regular API is that just using, and you can see the schema is back. So the only difference with the regular API using results or the type result is that the schema does not show up out of box we have to provide is as a part of the producer's response type. And now the schema is available and this is going to work just as before. There's nothing to it. So that is the fundamental difference between using a type result in a normal controller versus the minimal API is that with normal controller, what I have seen is it is missing the Swagger documentation but we can always use the produce response type and provide the type here and get the Swagger documentation. So I personally do not think it is a big deal, but it is very handy that we can use the same type result and result as a part of response for both minimal API and the standard controller. In some case, if we want to use the same method and for some reason we want to use both the standard controller and minimal API part of the same project, this is something which is going to be useful. So again, this is the minimal API. And for minimal API, here I'm showing the example of okay and bad request, but it can be combination of anything up to six return type. So that is all I wanted to cover for today's video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel and you think you are getting value out of my channel, Please subscribe to my channel and thanks so much for watching this video.